Hello, and thanks for using TickBoom. A student has sent through this two-part question where the first part says to show that x to the n times 1 plus 1 on x to the n times 1 plus x squared is equal to 1 plus x to the n plus 2. And then we're told, hence, prove that ncr plus 2 ncr minus 1 plus ncr minus 2 is equal to n plus 2cr. Now this part two is interesting because there is a well-known way to prove this result, but it makes use of Pascal's identity and it's not really related to part one at all. So the words hence prove make this question a little interesting because we're going to have to use a different technique. And actually when I was first looking through this question, I got a little bit stumped on how to, how to link up these two parts. I, kind of couldn't really get past the proof that I was familiar with for this result. Um, so I went on to Board of Studies to seek out some ideas and um, thankfully the people there were able to point me in the right direction. So thank you to Dr. Dusk for uh, pointing out that the technique we can use for this part two, which I'll go through when I go through my working, is basically using the binomial expansion and then equating coefficients. So for part one, we're being asked to show that x to the n times 1 plus 1 on x to the n times 1 plus x squared is equal to 1 plus x to the n plus 2. So if I take the left hand side, uh, the first thing I can do is get a common denominator in here. So we'll get x to the n times x plus 1 on x to the n times 1 plus x squared. Um, that, that then gives us x to the n times, I'll just write these in the opposite order, 1 plus x to the n on x to the n, 1 plus x squared. These cancel and I get 1 plus x to the n, 1 plus x squared. And then I can bring those two together by adding the exponents. So 1 plus x to the n plus 2 as required. Now part 2 wants us to prove that ncr plus 2 ncr minus 1 plus ncr minus 2 is equal to n plus 2cr. And as I mentioned, we'll um, make use of the binomial expansion, which um, says that 1 plus x to the n can be written as the sum from k is equal to 0 to n of ncr x to the k. So the way you'd expand that would be you just work through all the values of k, so you get nc naught x to the naught plus nc1 x to the 1 and so on. Um, I'll write ncr x to the r and then you keep going and then you get to the last one ncn x to the n. And the reason I thought it's worth putting that in the middle is because our thing that we're trying to prove has r c r so it's just going to be helpful to think about Somewhere in this expansion, there's items with an R, where R is just the value of K that, that we're working through. So now if we start from part one, and we can kind of start from this 1 plus X to the N plus 2. And if I just go back one step, we can write that as 1 plus X to the N times 1 plus X squared. And if I just expand this 1 plus X squared, and maybe put it first, you get the first one squared plus twice the product plus the last one squared times 1 plus x to the n. And now I'm going to expand uh, or put in this binomial expansion. So we'll get um, 1 plus 2x plus x squared times, and if I'll just go, nc0 times x to the 0 will just be 1. 
and then you kind of get all your in-between bits and then you get these bits in the middle. Now what I'm going to do is write um, ncr minus 2 x to the r minus 2 plus ncr minus 1 x to the r minus 1 plus ncr x to the r and then you keep going up to ncn x to the n. And now I'll just write each of these, I'll just expand all of these. So we'll get um, multiplying 1 through, we'll get the exact same thing. So 1 plus our ncr minus 2 x to the r minus 2 plus ncr minus 1 x to the r minus 1 plus ncr x to the r, so on. Then we'll get our um, multiplying 2x through, we'll get plus um, 2x plus 2ncr minus 2x to the r minus 1, because I've multiplied an x through here, plus 2ncr minus 1x to the r, plus 2ncr x to the r plus 1, and then all the way up to the end. And then finally, we'll multiply the x squared through, so we'll get plus x squared plus ncr minus 2x to the r plus ncr minus 1x to the r plus 1 plus ncr x to the r plus 2. And the key will be to look at all the items that have that are the coefficients of x to the r. So here, oh, uh, sorry, here with our expansion, um, here and here. And you can see why I wrote these three, three um, intermediate terms. It's so that we could very clearly see which items are in front of x to the r as we expand through. So I might just turn over because now what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll expand 1 plus x to the n plus 2 directly. So that's going to be the sum from k is equal to 0 to n plus 2 of n plus 2 c r, r k x to the k. So writing that out we'll get n plus 2 c naught x to the naught plus and so on. Then we'll get n plus 2 c r x to the r. And then you keep going and you get n plus 2 c n plus 2 x to the n plus 2. And here the coefficient of x to the r is this n plus 2 c r. So now we use that method of equating coefficients. So we can say that um, the coefficient of x to the r in this expansion must equal the sum of all the coefficients of x to the r in this expansion because the left hand side and right hand side are the same. They're both 1 plus x to the n plus 2. So the coefficients of the same item, they must all equate. So from there I can say that ncr plus 2ncr minus 1, so therefore ncr plus 2ncr minus 1 plus ncr minus 2 is equal to n plus 2cr. And that is what we were required to show. So that, that is the result, so as required. So that's how you can work through that proof. Um, essentially, uh, we kind of had to use our binomial expansion and then kind of work through. The, the reason part one was helpful is it just gave us that hint that this 1 plus x to the n plus 2 can be written in this form. So we could expand them both and then use this equating coefficients technique. So hopefully you found that helpful. I think this is an interesting question because this technique might not jump out to you. It certainly didn't jump out to me. I needed to get a bit of guidance myself. But hopefully now that you've seen it, you can see how this is a
quite a neat way of um, proving things to do with combinatorics. So um, definitely a handy one to keep in your toolkit. Um, hopefully you've found all that helpful. And uh, tick boom.